Welcome back to Aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. So till this point we have seen a lot of stuff in Python, right? And now it's time to look at mathematical functions. Now of course we can do that manually as well, right? You can find a square of a number, you can find a square root of a number as well, but then we can use mathematical functions, then why, why to do it manually? Now let's try something. So what I will do is I will, I will do some simple stuff. So how do you find a square root of a number? It's very simple actually. You just need to say x equal to, I want to find a square root of 25. So it's very simple. In Python we have an inbuilt function called as square root which is sqrt and in this bracket you just have to pass the number which is 25 in this case I will say enter oh we got an error that's bad maybe spelling mistake no it is sqrt that's right what went wrong here the thing is in Python we have a lot of modules to work with now these modules are by default not there for you now if you want to use them you need to ask for it right so we are living in a world where you need to ask for things now how do you ask for it the way you can ask, you can import it with the help of import, of course, and then you have to say import and then you have to mention a, a module name here called math. So math is a module in which you have all these functions. I will say enter. Okay, that's done, right? So we got, we got all the functions now. And now you can say x equal to math.sqrt and then you can find 25. Oh, it works. Okay, there's no error. So we got our value in x now. Let's print x and that's right, we got 5.0. Yay, it's working. In fact, we can try it with different values here now. So I will say 15 x and that's the value of square root of 15. Right, so it's working. Now we, we have some other functions as well. Example, one of the functions which we can use here is called as floor function. Now how floor function works? Let's say we have a value which is y. In fact, I will print it. I will say print. I want to print floor function value, so I will say math dot. So we have this concept of seal and floor. So what it means, imagine you have a value which is 2.5. So normally what we do is, we try to round off these numbers, right? For example, I, I don't want point values, I want the integers. So in normal world, we round off these values. We say, okay, when you have 2.5, we'll make it three. And let's say if you have 2.4, we'll make it two. So anything which is less than 2.5 will be two. Anything which is, which is greater than or equal to 2.5 will make it 3. That is round off, right? But we want to use floor and seal. So imagine this is 3 and this is 2. So when you say 2.5, it will be some, some, somewhere here. So when you say 2.5, you will make it 3. When you say 2.4, you will make it 2. But then instead of using round off, we can use floor. So we have floor and we have seal. Now when we use floor, it simply means you need to go to the floor. Imagine this is floor. We have floor and we have seal. So here we have a float and then we have seal. So when you apply a float function, doesn't matter what your value is, even if it is 2.9, you will get two, right? That's float. Now, what, if, what about seal function? Example, if I say seal of 2.1. So if you say round off, it will be two, right? But when you apply seal, you will get three, right? Let's find it out. So when you say, I want to find float of 2.9, you will get two. The same thing can be done for seal. So you say seal of 2.2, you got three, right? So floor will always give you last, the least value and seal will give you the highest value, highest integer. So likewise, we can do factorial. We can find sine x, cos x, you know, all your mathematical functions. In fact, there's one more. We also have power, you know, P-O-W. Remember, we, we have done this calculation, which is three into into two, three square, right? So you got nine. The same thing can be done with the help of power function. So when you say, I want to print, let's say, uh, math.pow, which is power function. And here you will say three comma two. Now you can see we got nine. So this is, it, it will give you power. You have two choice. You can use double star, which is power again. And then you can, also, you can also use power function. But now when you work on big softwares, it's always better to use functions because it's more readable for other developers, right? And then in math, we have some constants as well. It's not just about uh, functions. Example, let's say I want to the value of pi. We all know it, right? It's 3.14. Or not exactly. After 3.14, we have some more values. And no one remember that, right? So what you can do is you can say print. And I will print math.pi. And that's your pi value, right? So we have some more values there. Uh, we can also get the value of epsilon. So you will say math.e. And that's your epsilon value. So those are, those are constants which is available. Uh, what if you don't want to use maths every time? Because see, we do, we have, we lot, we have a lot of modules, right? And some module names are very big, uh, and we we are damn lazy to type those names here. 
So instead of using mat, can I simply use m.sqrt? Well, that will be good, right? m.sqrt. But unfortunately, it will not work. So if you press enter, you can see it's not working. So in that case, if you want to use m, we want we need to use a concept of allies. What it means? So when you import mat, say as m. So what you're doing now is you're saying, hey, I'm importing mat, but whenever I want to use mat, I will be using m, or I will I can use m or mat both. So let's try with math first. Is math is working? So I will say 25. Okay, math works. Same goes for let's say let's try m. 25. Even m works, right? So your choice. You can use m. You can use math. So whenever you have big names or if you are lazy to type even math, you can try allies, right? Okay. Now, well, we have one more thing, you know. So let's say you in your math module you have so many functions available, right? So we have so many functions classes available, and the moment you say import math, you you get everything. What if you don't want everything? What if you want things which are specific? Example: I only need power function. I only need factorial. I don't want everything. So in that case, what you can do is you can say math. So when you say import, in fact, let me just reopen my uh, IDE so that in fact we can restart. So I restarted this shell here, and let's try. So I will say math dot sqrt twenty five. You can see we got error. That means it's not imported. So now I will import. But then I don't want to import all the functions. I want to import, let's say, sqrt and power. That's it. So we'll say from math. So I have to mention we want to import from math. So we'll import only two things. One is sqrt and power. That's it. Give a comma and give say power. And you can see there's no error. Let's try. So I would say. In fact, now you don't even need to specify math because you have imported the function itself. So I will say power of four raised to five. I don't know the value. Maybe, maybe it's right. So it, it's one zero two four. That's right. It's, it's actually the right answer. So it works. You know, it works. So that's that's how you work with that's how you work with mathematical functions. So you can try it out. There are so many functions available. So just go to documentation. In fact, we'll search here. So you can see when you search for math, you have so many functions available here. Read documentation and try it out. So the best way to learn something is to do some research, right? So after watching my videos, make sure you read you read some book or you do this research, and that's how that will make you a good programmer. So I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe it. Bye bye.